And my name is Claudio Calori. I'm standing in for Rob Warner, who's at the Red Bull X Fighters in Madrid right now. This is the start of the track. We designed this track in 2006 for the first issue of the World Cup here in 2007, which was a bit gnarly in the rain, so we rebuilt the course last fall. What we had to do as well is build this hiking trail because the mountain is just too steep to, to walk on it. That's why I put on this helmet now. Let's check it out. I was raised in a city with no heart, where there's no heart. Stepping when it comes to me, getting that no fuss. I'm a hustler, I'm a, I'm a hustler. Raised on a battlefield, more than a sufferer. You start with a couple of big jumps, which you can see right now. And uh, yeah, then it gets interesting. It becomes really steep, and that's what Champer is known for. Before I had a deal, while I was still stacking deals. Get punked, sell food to the customers. Now I get love crews in the back of the S Club. Them can't move like that, you know. Now you can see what Champer is all about. Vertical drop of like 50 meters in a course length of another 50 meters. So that's uh, just ridiculously steep. But that was the only way how to get down this mountain because everything else will just be vertical. Raised in a city when they was out blazing a Philly. I was on a five bus chasing the titties. The back of the class on new bras with a sniffy. This is one of the many key sections on this track. We try to leave open as many options as possible. So now here you can decide if you want to go round, use the berm, or if you kind of want a shortcut. You can see how steep it is because that guy now he's already like five meters lower than me. Yeah, it's just uh, crazy here, but it's so much fun to ride. Stretching that catch up from south of the border. No press the east, there's got around here, gotta see it to believe it. Always getting in trouble. That's how it's always been. How can you win? How can you win? How can you win? This is another good example on how much this track drops away. See, the brakes are gonna be hot by now already. And I think all the cameramen are going to be happy about the footpath that we built. Are you guys happy? Yeah, yeah. really happy. Tell us something. Look, look, maybe just because I'm a Londoner. That I love London town, but London's foul. London's a merry-go round. A cycle of life full of ups and downs. Because up till now, we can never won with the odds against us. The millions are one see the winter's messy, but it can see the the sun. No fights, it's drawn. The nine million is done. Yeah. So this is really about choosing between speed and safety. You can take the most radical lines, but you're going to take a lot of risk. So uh, you really want to stay on your bike to, to win this race. And uh, this is going to be lots of thinking here. Let me show you how I kick it when I'm at home. Two bitches, ten bitches in the back room. And they naked and they take a naked bricks. When they finish, they gon' hang up naked bitches in the back room. So I can see them while I'm taking the shit. And I can see them while I'm taking the piss. And you can see them while you're taking the shit. And you can see them while you're taking the piss. We just ran into Justin from Fox Racing Shocks. Uh, you know, a lot of riders obviously have different styles, but I'd say one in particular whose setup's gonna really come to play on this track would be Aaron Gwynn. Runs really stiff in the front. I think with all the repetitive steep sections and bomb holes and like compressions in steep corners, I think he, uh, he's coming in on a good setup. Yeah, before this jump, this is probably the first section on the track where you can get a couple of pedal strokes in. And what you see here is a 10 meter step down, but the challenge of it is not the size of it, it's actually to judge the length of it. You, you really need to know where, where to land, otherwise you're gonna go too far and it's gonna be really scary. Shoot with no doubt Call the detectors on me I would 
with the tech in your mouth. You should and let Rockefeller and master crap in your house. You can take it from me, no motherfucker, so wild. Yeah, this section was pretty much the biggest challenge when we built it. Um, because there's pretty much just solid rock underneath. It's too steep for the digger. We still pulled it up him up here with a with a rope, so it was on the cable here, working, sliding. We had to to save the road down there. There was still traffic going on. That guy with that house there even had a hole in his roof, so uh, we had to be really careful. Okay, for the last time, you can relax a little bit here, coming out of the flowing traverse onto a little road over the man-made bridge. Then action starts again with a really, really steep forest. <laughs> So this section is called the no rhythm section. It's absolutely no fun to ride it, but I had to do it that way because the farmer wouldn't let us use his field here. And uh, down there it's just way too dangerous. So we had to stay on this edge here, which is kind of dangerous. So I just had to slow it down with these, with these bumps here. But as you see, it still works, as you could see at that rider. And uh, from now on, it's really the final. By the time you're gonna be here in the race, it's gonna be about three minutes. You really need to refocus because it gets steep again. Just stay focused because Supercross is starting just a couple of seconds ahead. To keep it difficult all the way to the finish line, we added this flat turn at the end. Uh, only the best riders are going to be able to jump these last two, two jumps, because we didn't add a berm here. So it was a lot of fun building this track. I think the riders enjoy riding as well, and I hope you enjoy watching the race. This is rock for life.